News 8 at 11 in high definition continues. One in three American children are overweight. Well, the Healthy Hungry Free Kids Act of 2010 aims to change that. But one study shows new rules are creating a lot of waste. In a developing story, Tina Shively reports on what a local school district's doing about it. Well, the Gates Chile District was just recognized by the USDA for excellence in nutrition and physical education. It all begins with the daily menu and not only making sure it meets requirements, but also making sure students are actually eating what's on it. Hi, what can I get you today? Healthy wraps, crunchy carrots, and seemingly bottomless bowls of fresh fruit. Today's school lunches aren't as you remember them, and that's due in part to new guidelines imposed by the USDA. Lunches now contain fewer calories, smaller portions, and more fruits and vegetables. Their change is hard for some kids to stomach. I can see why they do it, but then sometimes it's kind of annoying. But A lot of parents that just sort of have this, this idea that kids go in there and they do sort of what you would expect them to, buy the lunch, eat the whole lunch. Um, kids don't eat all their lunch. Kids don't eat very much of their lunch at all in a lot of cases. <laughs> Dr. David Just of the Cornell Food and Brand Lab co-authored the only known study on what American students are throwing away since the federal guidelines went into place last September. The lab found the kids are throwing away twice as much as last year, a 97 percent increase in what's going in the trash. We knew that we needed to take care of the availability problem because there are a lot of school districts across, across the country that don't offer fruits and vegetables with every meal, but it didn't quite take care of the motivation to eat issue, <laughs> which is still, still something we need to work on. It's set up like a food court. No one knows that better than Debbie Bouvet. If the food doesn't look appealing, we're already going to assume it doesn't taste good. So this with the milk is good to go. But we still Bouvet is supervisor of school nutrition at Gates Chai Lai and the national spokesperson for the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. Hi, what would you like today? To help solve the waste issue across the U.S., she's starting here at home. One trick, providing a made-to-order wrap station. Bouvet also changed how she serves vegetables. Items placed in plastic cups didn't move. But when they were served in those red and white boats traditionally reserved for French fries, kids gobbled them up. At the core of this issue are mandates set by the county and state health departments. Once this apple, for example, goes on a student's tray, it can either be eaten or tossed in the trash. No exceptions. Making sure students make good choices on the line is also crucial because the government gives Gates Chai Lai six cents back for every well-balanced meal the district sells. It adds up, and Bouvet is bracing for more changes that could make the problem even more obvious. Next year, we have to double the portion sizes on and fruits and or vegetables at breakfast. Six cents doesn't cover that, that doubling in portion size. Gates Chai Lai does not weigh their garbage and hasn't yet figured out just how much money they're losing to waste. Bouvet says she's doubled the amount of produce she orders, but she's not confident kids are actually eating double the fruits and vegetables. And taxpayers are picking up the tab either way. Now, there is a possibility that the federal guidelines could change again. March is School Nutrition Month when administrators meet with the USDA and local legislators in the nation's capital. They'll discuss exactly how the menu restrictions are working where it matters in our schools. Tina Shively, News 8. Scotty